Welcome back to Houston Live. Today is World Theater Day, so we wanted to take a closer look at the impact theater has on our community right here in the Houston right. area. Fresh Arts is a nonprofit that works to empower local artists by providing resources and community connection. Really important thing. So they've sponsored a local production company, Theatrix, since 2019. Angela Caranza with Fresh Arts and Benito Vasquez of Theatrix are joining us now in Studio B. Hey, welcome, guys. Thank you for having us. Yes. Oh my Thank gosh. You. Okay, so let's let's start with the connection that Fresh Arts has with Theatrix, Angela. You want to kind of explain that, how you support them, or? Yeah, so Fresh Arts, you've already uh, explained it beautifully. We're a nonprofit art service organization, and we empower local artists. So we offer a wide range of programs and resources to do that. And so one of our uh, most impactful programs is fiscal sponsorship. Uh, most people in Houston don't even know what that is but it provides, uh, it allows our organization to provide like an umbrella support for projects that are working in the public good. So uh, projects like theatrics, you know, theater groups, um, music festivals, public art projects and things like that. Cool. And, and theater is so important because it represents community, it represents history, it represents culture for so many underrepresented communities. Benito, talk to us about theatrics. So this focuses primarily on the Latinx community. The programming it really is for everyone, but you try to hire and work with Latinx folks. Absolutely. So, uh, yeah, you, you said that wonderfully as far as what theatrics represents. Um, we, we established ourselves because of the lack of representation for the Latinx community here in Houston, which we make up almost 50% of the, of the population. It's huge, yeah. But our stages don't represent that, right? The, the stories being told didn't represent that. And so um, our goal was to create that professional company, to tell our stories, uh, celebrate our stories. And again, I, I, I want to follow up on what you said. It's not just for the Latinx community. We're celebrating that community, but it's for everyone. I, I, I almost invite everyone to think about it as um, when you go out to eat and you you know you don't think of a Mexican restaurant as just for the Mexican community right you right. go uh, and and same for the theater except you know instead of food is food for thought right it's 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 coming to learn about the community to learn about how we uh, what life we have and what life or future we aspire to that's awesome. beautiful. Yeah. It really is, and that's a great analogy. Angela, you have been an executive director with Fresh Art, with um, Fresh Arts, but you started as an intern. Now, as you look back on that, and now you get to work with uh, companies like Theatrics, what does that mean to you? Why is that so important to you? Benito and actually, we were actually talking, just talking about this before. Um, yeah, my journey's pretty interesting. It's really, really rare for someone in my position to have started literally from the bottom. Um, so I've been really proud to have been affiliated with this organization since 2011, so for 13 years, and working every position in the organization. And I continue doing so because I see myself in, in the artists and creatives that we work with. You know, I was an artist, aspiring artist one day, and you know, unfortunately I gave it up. But if I had known an organization like this existed all of those years ago, maybe I would have done more. But I'm, I'm proud of what I can continue to do because I'm a small part of the creative journey of projects and people like Benito and, and Theatrix. And um, it's beautiful to see the work that they're able to do just with a little bit of help and encouragement and resources that our organization can provide. Yeah. And Angela, I think your story a lot of artists can identify with because you might be really good at something, but maybe the funding pipeline doesn't exist. And whether you're an artist struggling financially, but you have this incredible gift and this passion, or whether you're a theater company and you, you have so much to say and so much to give, but you don't have those financial resources. I mean, it seems like the, the funding that comes comes through Fresh Arts Benito is really a lifeline to ensure that not only the work is getting on stage, but then the community connections are, grow stronger because of it. A absolutely. So, you know, when we established Theatrics, we looked at this whole idea of becoming a nonprofit and it became overwhelming very quickly just because we didn't have the capacity to do that. So then we looked at fiscal sponsorship and realized that we can continue to do what we're doing and have a little help with the financial aspect of it. Um, everything from keeping a bank account, right? Keeping our money so that we're organized, so that we're able to just easily withdraw when we need that money. And so that people can donate to us as if we were a nonprofit, right? And so that alone takes, all, you know, lets us focus on the art and, and, and know that we have fresh art supporting us on the financial end of things as well. So big, 
big reason of, as why we can do what we can do. Absolutely. And Angela, yeah. I think it's great that you have helped become the person that you needed when you were an artist. I think that's so wonderful. But really quick, we could talk about this all day, but let's talk about recent programming and any upcoming events that are going on at Theatrix right now. So maybe our audience can check it out. Absolutely. So our yearly uh, shorts Festival, which is short play and short film, La Vida's Cortos, Life is Shorts, uh, will be in October 4th through the 6th, so it's still a while away, but we be start already recruiting films and short plays from uh, locally and from around the nation uh, to put that wonderful sort of festival together. Um, so please look forward to, to that festival. And of course, people can follow Fresh Arts and Theatrics online to find out what you're up to. Yes. Okay. Uh, Angela Benito, thank you so much for stopping by. Very very important. You know, I'm a huge fan of arts, education, funding, programming, all of it. We are so lucky we live in Houston yep. where the resources exist and where we have so much talent. So thanks to you both for coming out today. Thank Great you. Great to see you. Thanks. All right. So in the meantime, if you'd like to see more of the work being done by Fresh Arts and Theatrics, we have provided links on our website, HoustonLife.tv. Just look for that scene on Houston Life section.